TIFU by asking my BF if anything is going on between him and his female friend. I started dating this man, Joe. Officially late June this year. I'm 30F divorced early this year. And Joe 31 meters is also divorced. I feel that Joe is very emotionally mature and he's very friendly and outgoing. He can pick up a conversation with complete stranger. I on the other hand am socially anxious and spend most of my time on my own. Joe and I met on Bumble in April. And we were dating casually. Not exclusive yet for about two months. He's a great man. He has a good career and his head on a swivel. He's never raised his voice at me and he cares a lot about my mental well-being. I can be jealous and insecure. Extremely insecure. So when I learned majority of his friends are female. I was very uncomfortable with that. However I wouldn't voice my concerns because we weren't official. After he asked me to be his GF. I started voicing things that made me uncomfortable. This is going to be the third time that his female friendships cause me to lose it and in turn cause a rift between us. This latest situation, I was trying to link my phone to his Bluetooth on his car and when I tried to add a device I saw the name Stacy with a favorite star highlighted. I have met Stacy and she seemed very nice. I wouldn't have ever thought anything could happen between them because she is married. However when I saw this name and a little star next to it I immediately shut down. And I asked him if there's something going on between them. Whenever I bring up anything with GFs he becomes hurt and thinks it's absolutely ridiculous that I would have these thoughts. I just don't know what to do to fix my insecurity. I have to understand that he has female friends but I don't know how to fix these thoughts I have. That I can't trust any woman and that they're all conniving. I'm ruining my relationship. TL. Dear I'm uncomfortable with BF's female friends and I keep jumping to conclusions that there's something going on between them. This relationship won't last if you keep breathing down his throat. You'll imply or accuse him so often he'll either leave or just cheat anyway. His mindset will be that you are suggesting, accusing enough he might as well just do it. Trust him or don't. Life is too short to be screwing about with this kind of thing. You haven't even been together for a year. How will things look in 5 years? 10 years? Sounds like you both need to communicate and decide if you want to trust each other and continue the relationship. You need to have a clear and outlined conversation going over social boundaries for both of you. I understand it may be uncomfortable to have a so that has many friends that are women but if these friendships are genuine then it will only cause damage to expect him to drop all of them. You also need to put yourself in his position. If he was the one assuming you were the cheating if he saw an extra toothbrush in your bathroom or maybe a photo of you and an old guy friend. How would you feel? It almost invalidates the level he feels he's at the relationship with you. In the end this is something you are gonna have to work on yourself. Communication is key but also voicing your intrusive thoughts may not be practical because they're accusatory. This is the third time you do this in less than a month of dating? This is way too much drama to bring to a brand new relationship on such short notice. Joe will be exhausted and just find you not worth the effort if you keep leveling these accusations at him like this. Have you thought about therapy? You've identified you have an issue. It's causing issues in your life. But what are you planning to do to overcome it? You knew he had female friends. You can't just expect things to change once you're in a relationship. If this does end. It sounds like you need some time alone for self-healing and working through issues. Might be harsh to hear but if, Joe, would post on say our, relationship advice and say, my three month. Girlfriend is jealous and argues with me about my longtime female friends etc. Most comments. Would be, red flag. Run. You need to have a serious conversation with him and more importantly yourself and decide if this 
Jealousy, insecurity is something you can overcome. You can't expect him to ditch his friends. As others suggested some therapy might be beneficial as well. Who is Brian? Lol whoops. I can be jealous and insecure, extremely insecure. Thread archived. I think you have some growing up and maturing to do. I'd seek therapy or find some free resources that help digest feelings about self-worth and jealously. Your relationship is not going to be successful with you shutting down and confronting him about every single female in his life, especially given the foundation and quantity of which you've already known he has. Platonic and professional relationships with the other sex are 100% possible and very very common. You're either going to trust him and control the jealous feelings you get or you're going to lose him here shortly if you can't control this. If a guy did this, he'd be pilloried for being a borderline abusive, insecure asshole. The comments here are being very generous to you. If you can't deal with the people in his life you need to either adjust your expectations or leave. It's not fair to expect him to change his friendships. Be with a person that's compatible with you, rather than trying to change a grown-ass person into your perfect partner. You need to discuss this with a therapist we can't just tell you a step-by-step -step plan to get over. Insecurity. Unfortunately, you could also try journaling. It's the closest thing I've found to therapy without having a therapist involved. It's important to communicate your concerns with your partner. But remember that trust is key in any relationship. Working on your own insecurities can help strengthen your bond with your boyfriend. Hum difficult one. Either way you need to talk. But before you do ask yourself what you want out the conversation. What would calm you? What do you want to happen? This is a very rough breakdown. But emo there are two roads here. 1. This man obviously has a lot of female friends. This is not that uncommon but neither is going to a rave three nights a week. My point being does their lifestyle suit yours? He may be great but his lifestyle just doesn't mix with you. And that fine. It happens. You say you are very insecure. Let's change that to you're scared of heights. It's probably not the best idea to date a rock climber. See what I'm saying? 2. You throw caution to the wind and really work on your insecurities. But going in you fully accept that if this goes tits up that's the chance you took. Every relationship is a gamble. You just have to decide if and how many chips you throw down. Either way you need to talk it out with him. But once again it's vital you understand what you are wanting from the conversation. Dot in the relationship be honest with yourself. Regardless of your insecurities, there are two people here in this relationship. Both need to feel happy and content. Best of luck. Sounds like you're not ready for a relationship if you have these sorts of trust issues. Any relationship where you or the so have suspicions of the other cheating is not a good relationship. Number one thing should be trust. What if Joe is bisexual and hooks up with guys? Have you considered that? My point is, with today's society does it matter if the friends are female or male? At some point you just need to draw a line. You can't have a relationship without trust. My friend went through a similar situation this year which almost led to them splitting up. 4 plus years relationship. She had been cheated on before in the past which led to the insecurities she has now. They both had to make compromises which they're still working on. She wasn't comfortable with how close he was with his female friend and he didn't want to cut off his relationship with her. He considered her like family. In the end, they agreed on being more transparent with each other and setting boundaries. It's not the perfect solution. But it helped with them developing more trust in each other. I think you understand your insecurities. 
And you should have had the conversation about his female friends as one of the topics when you guys were making it official. So communication, boundaries and expectations are laid out and agreed upon. Not getting mad at him afterwards about being friends with females. In his view he might think, you always knew this why are you lashing out now? And being unreasonable. Personally I think male and females can be friends. Especially if Joe is emotionally understanding and mature. He might be more mature and understanding as he has many female friends and they have given him perspectives on how women think or he just is one of those guys who gets it, therefore has lots of female friends. He asked you to be his girlfriend based on the time you had spent together from April to June. But prior to becoming exclusive you didn't talk to him about how you were feeling and now you're suddenly voicing things that were making you uncomfortable all along. He's probably feeling blindsided by all of this. You really should have talked to him about your insecurities before agreeing to be in a relationship with him. It's still early so there might be time to salvage it but you have to figure out if you are actually capable of trusting him because if you don't stop seeing every other woman as a threat the relationship will not last going forward you have got to be really honest with him about what you feel and make it clear that it's something you know you have to work through. If he's still willing to date you after all this it might help you to remind yourself that if he was already dating his female friends he wouldn't be on Bumble looking for a relationship. He wanted to be with you for a reason. Try to think of what it says about him that he maintains friendships with multiple women. It's probably a green flag. And remember, they could be your friends too if y'all stay together long enough. Honestly I wouldn't be comfortable with my GF having male friends. There's no reason you should be comfortable with it either. The only issue is you knew that going into the relationship. Bad spot TBH. Easy way to fix your thinking is to remember that your BF has agency in all this. Even if all women were conniving to get him. He still gets to say no. I have a girlfriend. So trust him. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.